morning. Laura with Eastside Staffing here. I hope you're having a great start to your day. I wanted to talk with you today about values and values alignment in a recruitment process. So first, let's remember there are three parties in a recruitment process. You have the candidate, the hiring manager, and the recruiter. So in this example today, thinking about an external recruiter is a little bit easier because unfortunately, an internal recruiter doesn't often have a lot of choice in who their hiring manager is. Um, we all have choices. So all three parties, candidates really need to be thinking about which recruiters they want to represent them, who they feel comfortable trusting. They really need to think through what type of hiring manager they're looking for, what type of company they wanna work for. And ideally the hiring manager is really thinking through which external party they're choosing and why. So recently I had to say no, or I chose to say no to a potential search that came my way because it was so clear that it was a values misalignment, not only for me, but also for the candidates that I represent. And a peer of mine had asked me, you know, Laura, how do you come up with that decision so quickly and so clearly? It seems so easy for you and I'm struggling with it. Part of it is experience. I've been recruiting for 17 years, so some of these decisions just become clearer through experience and time. But it forced me to sort of write it down and think about a system that might be easy for those of you who haven't thought about values alignment before. So what helped me visually is just to think about all three parties, right? So you have your hiring manager, your candidate, and your recruiter. If you're the recruiter watching this, you get to take up some space too. We often forget that. So I wrote down on a piece of paper, you know, what are my candidates looking for? And so I talked to hundreds of HR candidates a month and I really started writing down the type of leaders they're looking for, the type of roles they're looking for. And there are very much common themes around what an HR candidate wants in today's market. And then I wrote down, what do I want to work with, right? So what, what's important to me? What makes me feel good as a recruiter? Where do I feel I'm adding value? Where do I feel I'm respected? And then I wrote down what hiring managers are looking for. So do they want a recruiter that partners with them or are they just looking for somebody to fling resumes their way? Do they want to learn and get introspective and really understand how to hire better? Or are they just looking to fill something really quickly and without a lot of thought? And so what I learned in doing this exercise is there's no judgment. There are lots of different ways that people feel makes a good recruitment process. There's no right or wrong. I just am really clear on what works for me. Um, you'll find my values on eastsidestaffing.com. And, and you know, there are candidates in HR that of course want, uh, you know, for example, most of my candidates really want to work in a progressive environment with a leader who invests in HR, who invests in people and culture, who is focused on diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. But surely there are HR pros where none of that matters. The thing is just recognizing like who you want to be and what you want to work with and alongside. So thinking about your values alignment is not a bad exercise. In fact, I think it'll be really helpful for you to be clear on what you need and want next. You'll be able to say no with a little bit more confidence. I'm not saying that saying no doesn't get easier. It's hard, but it will get more empowering and you'll realize that your values matter your choices matter, and that it's fun to work with people that align well with you, where you're all on the same page, you're on the same team, you have a, a shared vision and a shared values. Um, so just give it some thought. Values alignment, it's a phrase that I hadn't thought about a decade ago, and now I think about it daily. So make sure you're making good choices. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to talk this through more with you, and have a great rest of your week.